it's always been in the back of my mind, like, you know, in an ideal world, I'd love to go out and dig this site. <laughs> and now I've, uh, you know, I've scaled back perhaps my, uh, <laughs> my, my goals now. But it, it was in a real emotional high one after the very first day and they were showing me what what kind of evidence they were collecting and it was it was spectacular and to just go finally after all this time we now really know we really know now how important this site was i always thought it was important but to see it in its full glory more or less that's spectacular Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Label with the Illinois State Archaeological Survey, uh, Prairie Research Institute at the University of Illinois. Uh, Central Illinois today, which is a very unique and interesting site for a couple of reasons. Uh, first, it's most closely associated with uh, what we know archaeologically as the Langford culture, which uh, dates to about 1200 AD and is more commonly found up in the upper Illinois River Valley and along the Des Plaines River, the Kankakee River, uh, the Fox River. So to have a site associated with the Langford culture uh, down this far south is, is quite interesting. So while we know the site is here and we've known about it for a long time and we know that there's Langford and uh, Mississippian uh, cultures present at the same site, there's a lot of elk bone, uh, the excavations and the investigations that have been conducted in the past have been very limited. There's been some small scale excavations. So what we wanted to come out here to do uh, is a geophysics survey with a, a magnetometer and a soil resistivity and uh, really look at the site on a much broader scale. You can see what we have here from doing this magnetic survey is a uh, community pattern. Now if you were to go out there and dig uh, you know, a small unit or two you would never get this information from that. You would get some kind of information, but you won't see this kind of distribution, uh, you know, with the houses that are sort of along the perimeter, you know, sort of on the edge of the, of the hill, uh, you got a large community area in the middle, what appears to be a stockade wall coming around the outside, you see it in segments. Uh, they have specific areas designated to store their corn uh, along the perimeters on the, what was on the side of the hill where they dig down to uh, the sand layer so it would, it would drain well. Uh, excellent preservation conditions for underground storage. One of the very, very interesting things about this site is the presence of both ceramic traditions at a single site. So do, what does this mean uh, to us as archeologists? Is this contact between groups? Is this trade or exchange? Uh, are these Langford people trying to emulate Mississippian uh, styles of manufacture or vice versa? Is this uh, social interaction, uh, the movement of uh, individuals and their personal possessions from one group to another? Uh, we don't know for sure and that's why uh, investigating these sites and having them available for study is so important so that as uh, technology begin, continues to progress, we can uh, apply these new technologies to these sites and, and hopefully answer some of these questions that we have. I think as we're going forward, we're looking now at, at some targeted excavations to try to collect a little bit more information on who these people were, uh, what, what perhaps they were doing out here. And uh, beyond that, I think long-term preservation is our over, overwhelming goal.